What is up and I welcome each and every one of you back to a brand new Civ 6 or Civilization 6 video. Hope you're all having fantastic days, but today in Civ 6, we're going to be talking about the first 100 turns. I did do a first 50 turns guide, which led me to where I am right now. The goals were to get three cities, political philosophy, as well as some campuses, which I did end up doing. I'll link it down below in the description and the pinned comment. But right now, we're going to be talking about the next 50 turns. Now, the next 50 turns have some goals of their own. The first one being we want to get 10 cities settled. That is right. 10 cities by turn 100 is usually the goal for winning on Deity. Aside from that, we also want to go ahead and make an alliance with Genghis Khan. He's the only buddy near us right now, which means if we have an alliance with him, we don't have to worry about military. Now, the other thing is we want to prevent barbarians from spawning right now. I'm going to go ahead and use these guys as a sort of garrison. We'll go ahead and send a lot of these guys to defend some of the city spots I have right now where they might go ahead and try to spawn barbarians at. But all honesty, we should be okay in that regard. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk about the civics after political philosophy. When you're going for a science victory like I am, go for recorded history next. Getting the double campus adjacency and Praetorium and the governor title is almost worth it all the time. Afterwards, you do want to mop up military tradition and mysticism. That's a really nice free envoy, and that is flanking bonuses, allowing you to deal with a lot of units faster. Afterwards, we probably want to beeline civil service to get alliances. Getting an alliance with Genghis Khan is most definitely the goal. After that, this might be a little after 100 turns, but you want to pick your tier 2 government. I'm going to go Merchant Republic. Monarchy is really not the best most of the time. Theocracy is for a religious game. Merchant Republic is for everybody else, just by process of elimination. Now, we do have this settler right over here. I'm going to go ahead and settle him all the way down south over there. And before we continue, as always, if you do enjoy, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. A little bit of a basic video this time around, but I am working on a project that will be released tomorrow. Been working on it for weeks, which it's, it's, it's pretty big. I'm not going to lie. It is very, very massive, and you guys are definitely going to enjoy it. Now, this warrior here is going to stay fortified and mop up this encampment. With the quad dreams, it might be difficult. Now, tech-wise, we started this in the last video. We're beelining education, getting apprenticeship, and getting the Petra on the way, along with currency. So that's four really important techs I need to get right now. Considering we have a science city-state nearby, I think we could also make a play for Kilwa Kanesawa, which might be a decent idea. But we'll see afterwards. Let's just get education right now by turn 100. Now, the goal is right now we got to settle the next 10 cities. I'm building the government plaza in Xi'an, and there is an encampment that spawned up through there. That might be a little bit of a problem. We're going to keep that warrior there. Slinger's going to move in like that. A lot of the times you do want more military units than I have right now. But uh, again, it's just if you're smart with it, you really don't need too many. We're going to go ahead and trade like that, although we do need some gold. Usually you'd also meet a couple more civs as an encampment spawns up there, but the problem is that we only have one civ met as we enter the classical age, uh, so we aren't going to be able to trade for anything too well. Like, I have all these horses I can't trade because Genghis already has the max amount. Now, we're both in normal ages, so it shouldn't be too far off the mean, so we could go free Inquiry, Penbrush and Voice, Monumentality, or Exodus of the Evangelists. Now, Exodus really only matters if you have a religion, otherwise never go that. Monumentality is good if you're building districts. Penbrush and Voice gives you an error score for inspiration or great work slots. Free inquiry for Eurekas and building science buildings. Now, I'm going to go Monumentality. The reason for that is, again, free inquiries, Eurekas. Usually, you'd have to immediately go for Eurekas. But I'm going to be spending the next 50 turns spamming out settlers, so I don't know how many I'll get. Monumentality, though, I just need to build, you know, maybe a campus district in every city and we'd be good. I'm going to immediately start building that settler right now. You're going to stay fortified. You're going to move there next turn and you guys are going to continue. You're going to stay fortified. I have to deal with that encampment and I need health to deal with the boats. So we'll keep going right now. We'll settle you over there and there does seem to be a scout here. Hopefully he won't attack us. But settling this city here sort of locks out Genghis Khan from this general area. I don't think we'll ever get this city. You know, there's a chance, but it really is just uh, 
foregone conclusion we're not going to get it. But this has all these juicy yields after the native inhabitants died from a forest fire. Aside from that, getting these spots ensures me one, two, three, four, five-ish, maybe even six cities, which is a large amount. A lot of the times you want to settle and lock off the enemy if you can. So that's pretty much the goal with that settler down there. Now here I am going to start building some archers for the most part. The reason for that is these barbarians would... It's getting to the time of game where barbarians are going to start spawning swordsmen and super strong horsemen, which is something I don't want to have to deal with because then I'd have to go all the way down there, research my own swordsmen or start building horsemen. And they're both bad because if I build horsemen, Genghis isn't going to like me, part of his unique agenda. And one of the goals is to get an alliance with him so he doesn't run my fade in the late game. Governor title-wise, I'm going to take Amani. The other thing I want to do is get Suzerainty of Singapore right now, just so I can get a little more exploration and hopefully also meet another civilization. Because of that, I think I'm also going to go get Mysticism immediately so that I can get Suzerainty in five turns and not have to deal with Genghis throwing eight envoys at it. I only need Suzerainty for like a turn or two, so that really is why I'm going Mysticism. Afterwards, we'll continue recorded history into military tradition. It's shift-click, by the way, to like map out your tech path. If I regularly click like Mysticism, then recorded history, it'll automatically try to get recorded history as soon as possible. If I go Mysticism, shift, and then click these guys, it sets sort of a tech path up. Same thing for research. This guy's gonna stay here as Barbarian has spawned over there. We gotta deal with him then. We'll next turn it. You know what? No, we don't. I'm not going to deal with him. You're going to stay fortified over there because the barbs aren't going to be able to come in through here. And maybe they'd actually go and attack Genghis Khan, which I would love. In any case, we're going to settle this city. Negative loyalty, but it's only negative 915. Not the worst. We'll get a monument immediately to make it positive. You move up there, and I'm going to wait till I can heal to about 88 to 98, so next couple turns. Oh, we're going to have to throw another envoy into Singapore. Good thing I have one. We're going to do that, and just like that, we have met the Hungarians. Uh, Genghis is going to move and try to settle down there. That kind of sucks. Um, if I move someone, I'd meet the Hungarians right now, but I can't. We'll just next turn it. There it is. Matthias Corvinus of Hungary. Can make some trade deals with him now. Would you like my horses? Of course you would. That's 40 gold. We'll try to buy a builder here in Zion, just so I can chop out the Ancestral Hall a little bit faster with that silk tile. Uh, here are the Here's the scout. This is a problem. Gotta deal with him. He's going to be dead in the next turn automatically. We are also making iron because we're Susan of Singapore, it seems like. And we could immediately make friends with him. Let's go ahead and do that. Wasn't expecting that. Genghis. Oh, he's starting to like me a little bit. Friends? All right, what about a delegation? Okay, okay that's pr pretty bad, actually. Um, I'd sacrifice this, this, this slinger. He's not going to die anyways, but I would sacrifice him for that encampment. It's only a slinger after all. We'll trade with Eleanor of Aquitaine. There she is. And just like that, I have outsmarted the AI and stolen that encampment. Now, we're going to go fight this guy. Good. And here now, I would buy the build. I'm going to buy the builder like I said I was going to do, actually. We'll do that. We'll next turn it. I think this archer is going to be more than enough to deal with the barbs. Now, apparently a scout got there without my knowing for some reason. So that is going to be a little bit of a problem. But I think one archer should be enough. Now, I'm going to go ahead and buy that tile eventually. We'll trade again more horses everywhere. And then we'll trade some iron where we can to Genghis. And we can hopefully next turn as we get open borders. Go ahead and buy this tile and then chop out most of the ancestral hall. Now, you're going to start moving. We've dealt with the encampment. We've done what we're here to do. The Genghis has settled that city. That is perfectly fine. I'm going to move over there. The settlers are going to start coming out in full force very, very soon. We'll not do anything to Genghis right now. He does seem... I don't know. I don't know. It says he kind of likes me, but there's an unknown reason why he doesn't like me. Probably one of his hidden agendas. Going to keep this guy fortified right there with our own version of Thermopylae. Sarcher, a second, the second he gets the uh, other upgrade, uh, he should be doing work. Aside from that, we'll bring this guy back home and upgrade him to another archer. We'll next turn it for right now. Eleanor declared war on Matthias. It's pretty bad. Back out. Promote. Mm, yeah, we'll promote to Garrison. We're going to fall back a little bit. Uh, we'll make a mine just to improve the Ancestral Hall's production. 
and you're going to stay fortified. The barbs are coming in full force right now. Uh, we'll upgrade you to an archer and then get some more vision down south. You're fine. Who's next? You are going to move in there. Good. And then you'll be used to chop out this next settler. Chop like 90% of the time, honestly. We'll get another settler in there. If you could chop like almost everything, it's a lot better than just building lumber mills in the future, especially with forests, especially with forests under mines. Uh, there's a moderate flood, that's okay. Now they have an archer, so I am going to be forced to retreat a little bit. Let's go in through there. Again, you have garrison, so you can almost two-shot this. We'll attack with you. Move this guy back, and you can now upgrade to another archer. I'll move him down south now, just so I can deal with, just to prevent barbarians from spawning. Aside from that right now, uh, you're going to move there and help chop out the settler, although it's probably better for me to chop out a unit right now. I'll go ahead and get another archer in there. Uh, I'm going to finish the settler. It's already almost done. Here now, we'll go connoisseur to increase culture production. That should be helpful. And you are going to... We'll heal up a little bit in Guangzhou first. Aside from that, we want the city to grow in population so we don't have to deal with loyalty. They are building a wonder in this city that does seem like a great bath. Yes, so they're not building another settler there, which is nice. But Nan Mandol should be able to help us out a little. We'll chop out the settler, try to move him here. Negative four loyalty, a governor would fix that easily. And we'll build an archer here just in case. We gotta build this military. Too many barbs everywhere. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and fortify a little bit. Again, we have to settle this down south quickly before the barbs spawn and before Genghis gets a little bit smarter, which, I mean, it's the AI. They're not gonna get that smart. Aside from that, this guy should be dead in the next couple turns. Um, I'm going to keep fortified. This settler actually is just gonna go move down there. It's gonna take him away. To, we got, yeah, we gotta deal with these barbs first. Plan didn't work out. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and build a mine and you're gonna go and stay fortified. We'll try to get Nan Mandol to do the heavy lifting for us. We'll next turn it for right now. After this archer, we're going to build a couple more settlers. And you're going to fight this guy. You do have a promotion, so I am going to see if I can make an attack. And I can. We'll start moving you down south. Prevent the barbs from coming. And in two turns, we'll be able to get started on a settler in my capital. With Ancestral Hall, should be very, very easy to get. So you can heal up for a turn really quickly. Let's next turn it right now. And I'll move him there just to defend against the... Actually, I'll move this new archer there. And then you're going to attack this guy. Very good. We'll get started on the settlers. Two archers easily more than enough. And you move up there. After settling this city down here, we should be fine. There's the delegation. Again, we're trying to get 10 cities, but the barbs have really stopped us from doing that right now. Turn 78. We should be able to get at least 9-ish. We have Natural Philosophy, I'll replace Ilkum, I'll replace Limitani, because we might have to deal with Loyalty right now, actually. But aside from that, everything else seems good. Governor title-wise, I'm going to actually go ahead and... Liang's a really good one with the Builders, so we'll take her, and she'll eventually increase Loyalty in any city that needs it, eventually. Um, hit this guy, hit this guy, and we should be okay. You can stay fortified, and you're gonna move there. It's usually four tiles out from where barbs can spawn compared to a city. So, okay, there's military tradition. Love to kill this guy, but gotta make sure... Actually, yeah, you can. Scott's not getting out of here alive. Let's fight this guy. But again, four tiles out is where barbs can spawn. So, for example, one, two, three, four, a barb. One, two, three. A barb could spawn out out here because that's four tile away from the nearest city. We'll go theology next to get another free envoy. It's pretty cheap as well. I will also begin fighting this guy, because I think he'll also attack with his warrior. Yeah, of course he doesn't. Okay, let's go fight you, and you're going to move up there, and you are going to fortify a little bit. And again, you're too weak to build a settler, so I will go for a builder really quick in that city. If I could buy a trade route, I will, so we'll trade away as much iron as we can. Again, we don't need these resources, and the people are going to like us a lot for it. So trading away horses, I'm going to give them to Eleanor. Don't want to give the means to my own destruction to Genghis Khan. And 800 gold's way too much, so I'm instead going to buy a trader in this city. Increase food and production a little bit would help us out tremendously. But settlers are now coming out in full force as... Okay, you're, you're dead anyway, bro. Come on. Come on, stop running away from me. Let's keep going. Move this guy down south and immediately get started on another settler. The most important thing is getting the settlers almost immediately. Can I get a suzerainship? I could get suzerain of Mitla. 
the science would be very helpful but three production and two f this is a lot better i have to just to increase my production capabilities very quickly now eleanor spreading a religion i do recommend checking the religious tab a lot of the time because the ai especially on pangea will go for a religious victory i'm not going to worry too much about it this game because it really is not the most important thing in the world We'll go ahead, wipe him out, and we just move into a trap. They just activate the trap card. Attack him. You are going to move out and attack him. Always go for the scouts if you're not in danger of losing a unit. Uh, because if you, the scout could spawn infinitely more units. But hopefully this is the last unit right now as I lose a warrior. Don't lose units like I do. That's a very bad thing. Uh, here we're going to send this other envoy towards Mitla. Get their suzerainship, get a little bit of error score, and you're going to stay down there for a little bit. The next settler will hopefully be able to move there, settle that city. It's too risky. We've already lost enough already as is. Barb there, right on my tile. No strategics nearby, so I don't have to worry about that. We'll get the amber really quick. There's the wheel advanced. And we have to just continue spamming settlers. 15 turns, I could get 10 settlers probably. Two of them are coming out real quick. I'm going to go and settle that city over there first. Yes, because Genghis shouldn't be able to really do anything right now. Shouldn't be able to steal any of my cities. And that is the man-at-arms I was worried about. This is pretty bad, actually. Um, You're on a hill. And we do nothing to him. I understand that. But we have to try, at least. We we'll fortify. Uh, we're going to need more units, probably. Let's get another settler. This guy is going to be sent all the way down there. The natural wonder, how long? 10 turns. You could get there in... Ooh. If we get there in time, settle near the natural wonder, we get enough error score for a normal age. I think that has to be the goal now. Uh, we'll go chop out the monument real quick. We'll need bronze working to chop out some jungle, though. Uh, you'll back out because I don't trust Nan Mandol, if I'm being honest. So we'll just hit next turn. Yeah, he moved out of the way immediately. Just back out and fight this guy. We're just going to have to do a strategic retreat with the man-at-arms. Again, if they end up spawning units like that, there's almost nothing you can actually do. Uh, here now, we're just going to go, and we can't get a settler. I'm going to lock in the campus tile real quick. Uh, I got to save my... Ah, uh, no, we can do this. We have plenty of trade right now. We'll actually just get started on that, honestly. Uh, we're moving that guy down south. We have about... Three, five, six, seven settlers out right now, which is good. I think actually the settler's just gonna move up there if he can. It's a little bit risky, no doubt about it. Uh, we'll trade some amber to Eleanor. Anyone want my horses? Genghis just gives me so much for horses. Uh, and then we'll trade. You don't need a luxury, trade it away immediately. Same thing with open borders, as long as they're not on your doorstep. Here now, I am going to get a scout just so we can catch up to that settler. And after getting that tile, we'll buy that encampment tile. And then we'd be able to disperse that encampment in general. So all in all, the barbarians have slowed us down a lot. A lot of the time, if you are smart with where you place your units, you don't even have to deal with the barbarians. But this is not one of those games. We'll buy that. Petra's coming out soon in this city, so I will get a builder here just to improve production capabilities. And right now, we'll trade whatever we can. There we go. And he has to cross the river so I can attack. This guy has to back out a little bit, though. Um, Yeah, I'm not risking anything, especially with that man at arms. He's going to keep coming in. I'll keep attacking for that sweet promotion. You'll want to catch up to this guy, and you'll get there. Kind of scared to go over the hill. Very scary ordeal here. Um, I'd get error score. I'm doing it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Second I settle that encampment, we will be more than okay. We'll move in like that. Try to bait him out a little bit still. I can buy another archer, and I think I kind of have to at this point. Money is very important in this game, no doubt. We'll get a mine up there. Uh, you're going to move in like that and take that uh, tribal village if you can. We're about to settle this next city. Uh, we'll get there in time, actually. We should. Let me see. Ooh, there's luxuries we could trade for. Yeah, we'll get there in time to get the normal age. Preventing the dark age, which should help out our loyalty. Uh, he pillaged that encampment. Kind of sucks. Not much we could do. Free recon unit. I'll send him on an, a sort of... Uh, actually, I'll keep him here to prevent barbs from spawning. That's pretty much the goal. Uh, here now, we can move. Settle the city. We'll get sailing. That's great. But it's really just I need 85 gold right now. Uh, here, we'll do that with you. 
that with you. And we'll buy that encampment out. That's perfect. Now they're not going to be able to spawn anybody else. You can move and start attacking. I'm going to move you back. Same thing with you. And then we're just kiting out the man-at-arms pretty much. Uh, we'll get a farm real quick. Keep you a sort of a little bit of a garrison. You'll move in like that. You're just going to skip your turn, I guess. Ah, uh, no. You'll go across the river. Good. You'll move out next turn, and you're going to go and get a farm, probably. Just for a little bit more food. Good. About turn 90 right now, we're going to get this next city very quickly. Pasture should help out a little bit when getting that campus. Again, don't worry about any of the yields in the early game. Even though I'm not doing too bad, personally, but... Uh, Again, it's very easy to catch up, especially on the higher difficulty, so don't worry if you are falling behind. That's how you deal with Barbarian Man-at-Arms Rush, I guess. I'll move this guy. Should be an almost free kill if the Man-at-Arms has some sort of brain, which I very much doubt the AI does, but that guy shouldn't be enough to kill me. Hey, there we go. He has a few chromosomes up there. Aside from that, we do get a promotion right now. We'll give you volley. We'll surround this guy, gang-bang him, of course. Let's fight him out like that. Uh, okay, you're fine. Get some production going up there. Settler coming in soon, and there's the encampment I was worried about. Gonna have to. We gotta be very careful. We cannot allow the skirmisher to do anything. There's not much I can do for that, though. Uh, we'll get another farm to help with growth a little bit. Uh, get the pasture for production. Very good. We'll next turn it right now again. Mitla is upgrading units. This is not good. I'm going to have to at this point, though. I cannot allow that barb to take me out. So we will try to go for more trade deals right now. Again, again, it would be so, so much easier if the barbs weren't that big of a problem. But we have actually spawned, like, almost by ourselves in a way. So they're always going to be a problem like that. You guys are going to move. You're going to move and prevent barbs from spawning there, I hope. We're suzerain already of Mitla, so we would know if they were, if, uh, what tiles they're looking at to prevent barbs from spawning. Uh, aside from that here, we're just going to go and harvest the deer. I do have the harvestable resources mod. But, uh, we have about four, six cities-ish as we do lose the scout. About to get city number seven. We'll go ahead and settle that real quick. The error score actually isn't going to prevent us from the Dark Age. It's pretty bad. Uh, it's very much not good. We'll get the monument. Uh, we'll go and get a farm real quick. There we go. Envoy-wise, actually, we will get the Normal Age, because Nan Mandol were the first suzerain of Nan Mandol. They got a pretty good unique bonus, so I don't think I'm going to take him out, even though I, I definitely could not. Um, I'm not putting my faith in a man-at-arms being some sort of smart, so I'm not going to. Uh, move in there, wipe him out, and that's the power of archers, ladies and gentlemen. By far the best unit in the game. We'll next turn it again. Again, if I didn't have to waste five turns in both cities dealing with the, uh, settlers, I would have about ten cities. But I'm only gonna have about eight or nine cities, depending on how fast these settlers get built. But you're gonna move in there for now, and you're gonna get started on the Petra tile. A hundred turns is a lot, but it should be a little easier considering the fact that... Uh, number one, I could buy this. Seems like we'll buy this tile for production. And then we'll go a little bit more on the production side of things. Food doesn't matter as much. And, uh, yeah, 45 turns a little better. We'll go and get more settlers. We need as many as possible. Again, the one, 10 by turn 100 isn't, like, gospel. You know, I'm not just saying the word of God or something. Don't claim to be a prophet. If you only get, like, 8 or 9, but you're on the way of getting 10 very quickly, that's fine for the most part, honestly. Uh, sometimes things happen, like the whole barbarian mess. And looking at this right here, they are actually going to go ahead and uh, begin spamming out the barbs. So I am going to have to continue trading away resources to get more archers because I'm about to get absolutely bent over and destroyed immediately. But we have prevented Genghis from settling anywhere on the peninsula. In fact, we've even given ourselves potentially... Plain Sail is always a good spot. We'll settle right over there. Should be another good city. Decent at least. We'll get that farm. A lot of people are in normal ages again, so no loyalty is going to have to be dealt with. Uh, you'll move up like that, and you are going to move down there to help out a little bit. Uh, we can harvest the deer. A little bit of food. I'll take it. Hopefully, Nan Mandol deals with that in Kamen. It should be very, very easy for the Yeah, there it is. Uh, the spearman got and started attacking me. I'm gonna try to make this ranged, obviously, because I have all ranged units. This could be Buddhism for all I care. I don't know. 
Uh, it is Buddhism, and it is range. Now, how much damage? It did 40 damage to me. Oh, yes. Oh, hit him with that big daddy special. Give it to him like that. Uh, I'm not going to buy anything. We're already getting that quarry soon anyways. But here, we'll trap out two turns of the Petra. We can buy this tile right now. And I got to work on the production. I mean, I might as well work on that tile. It's one production. But uh, this builder's still here, so we'll just send him to get that mine for a couple production points. Uh, you have a promotion, so you can afford to attack. The same thing with you. We'll get that blanking bonus real quick. Turn 97, World Congress is about to meet. Lost his renity of Singapore. It's fine, he did his job. Special session has nothing to do with me. A military emergency was passed, actually. Uh, that's pretty good for us. She's at war now with three different people, so she's going to get slowed down a lot. Aside from that, we're going to go ahead and wipe this guy off the face of the planet. You could honestly just go heal in the city before auto-exploring. Civic-wise, civil service was the next one we wanted to get. And it's usually good to get uh, grants. That's a lot of great people points we could get. But we are now officially spamming out them settlers as fast as possible. And actually, I am going to take a detour real quick to sailing so I can get the sea turtles in the next turn. Uh, you're not going to buy anything. You'll move in there and hit him right in the dome immediately. Skip your turn. Should get that in the next turn. Turn 98 right now. We're going to have about, seems like, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's going to be about 9. Am I dumb? Uh, we'll get that quarry real quick. You might die, but I have to take out that encampment immediately. Even if you end up dying, I'd say it was worth it. Barbs are a very big pro- Oh, yeah. oh wow, you're alive. That is very lucky. Uh, so we'll back out. Probably up to there. And he could sort of be a little bit of defense. And then we'll get another amber tile. We'll go make this city great again. And you're going to... One, two, three, four... So, there's the best idea, actually, because that tile could spawn barbs. You move up there. You move up there. And we'll hit next turn. Good. We're at exactly turn 100 right now with nine cities. This is going to be city number 10. We'll move it up there real quick. Uh, moving up there should prevent barbs from spawning in this general area, which is fine. Then over here in Guangzhou, I'll go ahead and place the pins for it soon right now. This is almost the end of the video. Uh, we're making two settlers, so that's one and two, and so we need only one more. We'll do it in this city. So we'll get this mine up there. Very good. Uh, that would put the Ted Petra in 30 turns. It's a lot better. Uh, if we move in like that and then move up there, we have almost everything discovered. Okay, we'll play a couple more turns again. Uh, there really isn't much to take in. I haven't been able to make allies with Genghis Khan, so I did kind of fail that. Uh, we'll get that amber tile, and I think I'm going to trade it to... Actually, I own... I need that tile for amenities. But all in all, not the worst thing in the world. Now, about turn 100, we do have almost all the cities we need. We're building a couple more settlers. In about 20 turns, we'll have about... Uh, I would say 10, 11, 12. 12 cities. 13 cities, in fact, which is very, very good for us. And honestly, after that, we really don't need any more. I'd really make more pins everywhere as well and start building up the districts. And by about turn 200, I would then be in position to win the game. That's going to be it for the first 100 turns. Hope you all did enjoy. Leave a like and subscribe and let me know down below wh whether you want me to do the next 200 turns or whether I should stop at 100. Uh, preview, if I do do 200 turns, it's going to be about finishing the cities, building all the districts I need, and surpassing the AI in science and culture, which isn't the hardest thing to do. Science-wise, Eleanor, Genghis is second, actually, so we would need about 100 science to overtake first place in science, I guess. But uh, yeah, see you on the next video. Peace.